Well, hello and welcome back, garden friends. Got a quick little wonderful little video for you. I'm going to show you a little update on our solarization slash smothering that of the weeds we got out here in the orchard. As you can see right here, I'm showing you uh, my compost thermometer. I brought it into the school because I wanted to test out to see how hot is it getting underneath this plastic. It's been we've had a few really hot days these past few weeks. Um, temperatures are cooling down outside, but I wanted to see how hot it's going to get at the peak of our school day underneath this plastic. So I. brought this thermometer it's nice and long it's like a two footer and so I'm gonna find a good spot oh you can see right now what the temperature is it's pretty cool in the morning sun's coming up um, just under just about 60 degrees Fahrenheit right so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you because I also want to show you what, what uh, the progress that we've made so far like I said in the solarization slash smothering so with solarization you use pl plastic oftentimes it's clear plastic to uh, let the light in to heat things up get it real hot underneath that plastic and then uh, sometimes weeds will start to sprout and grow under that heat and that sunshine, but then they'll get too hot and then they cook out. For us, I had a, this garden um, from other issues, if you watch other previous videos, we had some really intense weeds right here, really intense, like uh, four feet tall, easily, uh, you know, well over, you know, weeds well over a meter tall, uh, very uh, was aggressive nut sedge, Bermuda grass. And so uh, I went with a smothering technique where I'm actually not letting any sunlight in, but it's also getting very hot under there. Even though it's not clear, um, this black it, it, uh, obviously attracts and retains a lot of heat. So we're going to pull it up and uh, find a little spot for that probe so we can, we can get a, at least some kind of idea of how hot it's going to get under there. Maybe after lunchtime we'll come out and check it out, maybe around like 2 o'clock or so, 2 or 3 o'clock. Um, we'll see how hot it gets. Um, let's see, so I also wanted to show you what the effect has been so i think it's been about three weeks or so since we first started this and so i want to show you let me pull back this these rocks a little bit and so now i probably could have pinned this down quite a bit better but you know we did what we could with the but uh but it actually has been working pretty well so you can see there's actually a lot of moisture condensating underneath it which is actually pretty good because that'll that'll uh, actually trigger any some of the seeds that are in there to hopefully sprout and then they can sprout and then die but you, let's take a look you can see the difference in the weeds right here so you can see on the, the ones that are getting sunlight it's all fresh and green let's take a look right here there we go that's a good view so you can see that it's uh these all this bermuda grass right here and the nut sedge is getting real real hot um it's starting to kind of push itself out try to it's trying to grow but there's no light and so you can see some of it's getting kind of yellowed out uh, because it can't photosynthesize and so it's 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 trying but it's dying and so you kind of pull it without even doing too much effort it just comes right out but eventually you'll get back down to some stuff that maybe has some still so even though a lot of it's uh dying out from the heat it's trying you can see it's trying to push out and grow for what it can because it's, it's got some moisture it's got the warmth but then it gets a little too hot and so what i'm really curious about is, is is what's left behind is that still viable is that still fertile is it going to grow thankfully what i'm grabbing here at the top just seems to just come right out pretty easily with a gentle tug you can even see some of the bermuda grass mixed in but you can still feel it. it's tied in there the, the rhizomes of the bermuda grass are tough and they're very durable and so we're going to keep to keep this heated up we're going to test today to see how hot it's going to get underneath here at least at least a few feet in um, cause I've, I, we have tested a little bit where we pull it up and whoo, you just see like steam essentially come out of here. It gets real, real warm. Um, we might have to, um, get out here and till some of this, hand till it to expose some of the seeds underneath. Um, the ones that haven't cooked, that might be something beneficial we can do is because we're running out of time to do this because the warm season is ending. Fall is upon us. Cool weather is coming. And then, uh, and this technique won't work as well. The smothering would help, but I... It's just without the heat, it's not going to work quite as well. So we're going to continue to smother. We're going to heat them up today. We're going to test that. We'll, we'll come back and test that heat. So let's do it. At about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And so I'm just going to find a spot for this, for this one to go. I'll mark it out here. I'm just going to kind of put it in there. I don't want it to, you know, I'm really not going to have it too far in. I'm just going to mark it with a rock on the outside so I know where that, where that probe is. And uh, we'll, we'll see how hot it gets. And like I said, it's only going to be a few feet in. But we'll, that, that should get pretty warm in there. So I'm going to pull this plastic back. 
Looks almost like Batman's cape, huh? I love it. But you know what? It has been, keeps out the sunshine, traps in all that wonderful heat. So we'll see if we can't come back in a little while and figure this out. See how hot that is getting underneath there. All right, let's do it. All right, garden friends, so it's time to do a little checkup on this thermometer just to see how hot it actually is. Um, it's, af it's the afternoon, I got a few students. And we are gonna check it out really quick. Oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, let's see how hot it is. Let's see. Oh, oh it's 120. Yeah, uh -huh. let's go. 120. And it was 60 degrees Fahrenheit when I put it in this morning. So it's doubled its temperature. And this is only a few feet in. I imagine deeper towards the center, um, away from the edges, it's probably a bit hotter. But check, take a look at that, guys. That is that is warm. So it's 120. It's already cooling off as I bring it out. But um, not bad. So it's 120 degrees Fahrenheit under here. Hopefully we can... Um, you can really feel the heat. Yeah, you, absolutely. As yeah, Once you lift it up, like almost like a steamy wave of hot air comes out. Oh, yeah. And that's pretty impressive. And so that's going to hopefully kill all this. So I'll take my thermometer and we'll go stick it in the compost pile and we can do another video for that but yeah wow 120 degrees fahrenheit and it's actually this is the coolest day that we've had yeah. like i wonder how hot it was under here last week when it was 105 104 you know high 90s it's probably much hotter but not bad so the smothering solarization is working you can see it's, it's actually really good at catching dew in the morning now our, our mornings are a little bit cooler actually I'll come out here and this is covered in dew and a lot of it will collect but pretty dang impressive all right, garden friends, until next time, happy gardening and best wishes.